Right guys, the game is finished and it's the third game of the pre-season tour. It's just finished nil-nil. We've ended up winning on the penalty shootout. Some great penalties uh, were scored tonight. But the overall game, well, we didn't play too bad actually. We played quite well. First half, there was some good play up there from from well back and one matter and Wayne Rooney combined in great in a spell where they did some great one touch passing. The formation was was again the same. Van Gaal's used in previous in the previous games. Yeah, overall it was it was a good first first half. There was there there was more chances for Manchester United. Matter had one that went well at wide. Uh, Jones had a corner which was, was saved by the goalkeeper. Overall, pretty good first half. Um, Luke Shaw didn't start this game after reports in the press that he'd been training uh, alone because of his uh, fitness. Now, he did come on in the second half, but Ashley Young started. Yeah, overall, did did all right. I mean, Ashley Young wasn't that bad. And when Luke Shaw came on, he did, he did all right. There was a, a lot of changes made at half-time. And the second half, we were still the better side. Uh, Nani come on. Kagawa come on. There was quite a few changes. There was only a couple that, that stayed on the pitch. Zahar even got a chance. And he didn't didn't disappoint, really. He had, he had a fairly decent decent time on the pitch. He, he, is, he has got some quality, that fucking Zahar. He, he ain't all cod shit, you know. He, it's just his bloody attitude. He just... I mean, if he if he knuckled down, tried really hard like fucking Ronaldo used to, and and great players like that, he will he will be up he could be up there with the best. I mean, he's really got the ability, and yeah, he had a good he had a good good heart. It, yeah, apart from da David Hare's save from a, a late uh, free kick, which was a quality save, um, there wasn't really much from from Milan. I thought Manchester United should have won that should have won the game. That the Zahar had a chance in the game, which he hit wide. But um, yeah, overall some good play. I mean, we never saw any of this this good one-touch play from fucking Moy Moyes' team last year. I mean, it was it was complete in our cold sheet. I mean, even if we'd lost this game one or two nil, I mean, I can see I can see the see what he's trying to trying to implement here. I mean, under Moyes, you just couldn't see any way he was he was trying to get what strategy he was going. He was just playing some. Fucking boring football. I mean, it was absolute terrible. But yeah, um, he went straight to a penalties after after the 90 minutes. There was no point in playing extra time. I mean, been pretty pointless. Uh, yeah, all, all Manchester United's penalties were, were clinically scored. Uh, Ashley Young took one. Cleverly took one. Uh, Kagawa took one. Uh, Fletcher took one. Uh, they they're all all quality penalties tonight. I mean. That that they had Inter Milan had pretty much all quality penalties. David Hare almost almost saved one, and then um, they had one that that was shot straight down the middle and it bounced off the crossbar and come out. So it was a bit unlucky for them, but overall I feel Manchester United probably just did deserve to win the games. And now on to um, Real Madrid for the last game of this this mini group. Uh, overall pretty pleased with how how things have gone again today. We're still getting there. I mean, the, the players are still getting ready for the season. So it's a good workout again. And hopefully uh, Zahar can continue play If he can continue to play like that, he might might get a game at some point. You never know if he knuckles down. I mean, he's a bit of a knob if he doesn't knuckle down because he has he is definitely got the ability. You can tell why Fergie bought him. But, yeah, that's, that's all my thoughts on the game and everything. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.